All right, good morning everybody. Robert here. Feeling good this morning. Uh, actually got up at a decent hour and I should be at the poker tables by 1 p.m. today. And uh, you know, in poker time, uh, that's like 6 a.m. So carpe diem, motherfuckers. Hoping to build on yesterday's momentum. I had a really profitable day yesterday. Hopefully I can continue that today. Uh, and keep learning all, all these great lessons I'm learning. So a couple things for today. One, I'm really excited about the weather's change. You've probably noticed over the last couple days, I haven't shown any footage of outside. That's because it's been really cold and rainy. But the weather broke and it's a beautiful sunny day today. So I'm hoping to get some, some good footage uh, of outside here. Um, I'm at Harrah's and it's right on the water, so it's really pretty. Of course, gonna play some poker, gonna play here at Harrah's. And I may tonight, uh, since I, I, I'm getting such an early start, I may head over to the Borgata and give you guys a look at that uh, as well. Play a little poker over there too. And at some point I want to come back, a guy named Sky Matsuhashi, uh, who runs the Smart Poker uh, podcast, he did a webinar. I missed it live, but I've got the, the replay. I want to check that out. If you guys aren't familiar with Sky's podcast, the Smart Poker podcast, you should check it out. It's been real helpful in my game, and, and I'm really looking forward to this guy's webinar. So I'm going to come back and watch that at some point. But other than that, uh, just a lot of poker. So let, let's get started. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I just got in a game a little bit ago. It looks okay. A lot of familiar faces here. Uh, a lot of familiar faces on the table, I should say. Uh, the, the, they're all regs, not a lot of tourists. So I'm actually going to try and get a table change pretty quick. Uh, there's not a lot of action in the game, so I'll see if I can find a little something better. But yeah, let's see how we do. Uh. Yeah. I'm taking a break. I'm still playing uh, the one-two game at Harris here. Uh, feeling a little bit frustrated, so I, I took a, a little bit of a bad beat and wanted to get out of the, the poker room for a few minutes and uh, make sure I don't start tilting off any money or anything like that. The, the beat wasn't a, a real big deal. I had pocket fives in middle position. There were two limpers. I limped in planning to set mine. The hijack made it 12 to go. The button called, the two limpers, they folded, uh, and I called. So three-way to the flop. Uh, get a good flop. It comes ace clubs, five of clubs, three of spades. Pretty good flop. I check, planning to check raise. The hijack, uh, she opens for 20. The button calls, and I make it 100 to go, raising 80, hoping to uh, isolate the pre-flop raiser there, get it heads up. And that's how it goes. The hijack goes in the tank for a little bit, but she eventually calls, leaving herself uh, only $35 behind, and the button folds. The turn is not a great card. It's the deuce of clubs, uh, so it completes a flush draw and puts uh, four to a straight out there. And then the river comes a, a blank, a, a queen of spades. Uh, on the turn, she had put the $35 in, and I, of course, called. Um, she turns over 10-8 of clubs, uh, so she made the flush draw on the turn. She was obviously gambling a little bit. No big deal. So much of, of poker is taking these little bad beats like this and then trying to recover from them. You know, you, you, sometimes it feels like you can't help but count the money before it's yours. And, of course, I set money with pocket fives and then hit a set. You know, I, I, I did what you shouldn't do. I, I started counting the money, and then when it didn't come my way, I felt frustrated by it. They don't tell you when you start playing poker that most of poker is just pretty freaking boring. If you're playing kind of a solid, uh, tight, aggressive kind of ABC strategy, uh, most of the time you're just folding. I mean, you can fold uh, just a ton of hands just waiting for one good one. And then a lot of times that good one comes and, and you lose with it. And it can be pretty, pretty uh, frustrating. But I, I think what separates a lot of the, the good players from the bad is how easily they can get over that frustration, how quickly they recover, how much uh, they can keep it from uh, from ruining their game. You see so many players every day take a bad beat and then just tilt off stack after stack. I think the secret is uh, that there is no secret. You kind of got to accept it. It's part of the game. You want bad beats. Bad beats mean that usually mean you're in a pretty good game. Uh, that means people are gambling. And for the most part, you're, you're going to take down those pots. So the math is with you on that. You kind of just got to practice getting over it. 
for me, uh, it helps to take a break, you know, take a bad beat. I can see, feel myself being a little frustrated. I just walk away, know that uh, I come back fresh. There's gonna be plenty of opportunities to make the money back. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna head back down now, get back in this game, and uh, try to claw my way back to, to a win here. So, all right, see you in a little bit. All right, so I just finished a uh, kind of frustrating session here at Harris. Minus 300 for the session, uh, which, you know, was essentially my buy-in. Not a lot to talk about. I got all in at the end with queens against aces, and of course the flop came 886. Uh, so the guy flopped quads on me. Uh, not a lot you can do uh, against uh, flop quads. I decided uh, to call it a day here at, at Harrah's. Gonna head over to the Borgata. They've got a, a really good high hand promotion going on right now. I think it's $250 every 15 minutes. So uh, I'm gonna go get a bite to eat over there at the food court. Uh, maybe get some Chinese food, I think. And then hit the tables again. So let's go check out the action at Borgata. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I'm in a session here at the Borgata. It's going okay, I'm up just a little bit, nothing to write home about. I don't know, I gotta tell you, uh, I know everybody loves this poker room. There's something about it that just kind of rubs me the wrong way, I don't know. It's not the players, I realize that there's more tourists here and we get more action and all that. The, the room itself, there's something about it that just kind of sucks. First of all, the decorations in there, it's stupid. These are pastels and I don't know, it, it just looks lame to me. The chips are horrible. The, I don't know what it is. They're, they're somehow both sticky and slippery. I, I don't know how you, you defy physics that way and achieve that. But the, the chips are, are just really weird. The dealers seem gruff. They're just not as happy as dealers at other casinos for some reason. I don't know what it is. They also don't have side tables, so everybody has to put everything right on the damn table. I don't know. It's just there's something about that room. I just don't like it. And it's not that I lose there. In fact, I know overall I'm a winning player there. The biggest uh, win I've ever had was here at the Borgata. It's not that I'm losing here. I just, there's something about the room. I just don't like it. It's uncomfortable to me. You know? But anyways, I'm here. What I do for the vlog, it's just, it's a real sacrifice. Anyways, uh, just taking a break here. Gonna get back in the game. I'm really tired right now. So I don't think I'm gonna play much longer. I kinda wanna get back to the room. But gonna play a little while longer. Hopefully keep winning. So, all right, see you in a bit. Damn. Uh. Yeah. All right, well that's it for the Borgata tonight. Uh, plus 40 for the session. Nothing too exciting, but at least I uh, dug in a little bit uh, into that the loss from earlier today at Harris. So that's good. A little disappointing to be honest. This will probably end up being my least winning trip to Atlantic City. I go once a month for a week and this is I guess my fourth one in a row and I've had bigger wins each time. And of course, so the first time I vlog about it, I have the smallest win I I've had yet. Uh, a little disappointing. So I guess that makes it minus 260 uh, for the day. So I'll probably go home about $200 a $200 winner or so. I'll put the, the correct amount here uh, when I get back to my room. Um, it's a good trip. Uh, I, I loved being able to do the vlog. I came away a winner. I guess you can't ask for much more than that. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, that's it for the Atlantic City trip. I'm all packed up and checked out, heading out to the car. Good trip, not very profitable, I guess. It plus 130 total for the entire trip, so nothing too exciting. It's still a win, it's $130 that's going into my bankroll. I'm gonna go home feeling okay about that. All in all, great trip. 
I didn't put in as much volume as I normally do when I'm out here. My normal volume is about 12 to 14 hours a day, but I only got in about seven hours, seven to eight hours uh, a day. And of course, it's because of uh, editing the vlog. I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm very happy doing the vlog. I really like it. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep it up. And I love all the, the great comments I'm getting. So I really encourage you. So keep those coming too. But yeah, that's it. Plus 130. <laughs> As always, make sure you subscribe to the vlog so you don't miss future episodes. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.